Now we mark our header, the width of our door, 610, plus a gap for painting on either side. We're going to allow 5 millimeters for this, so we'll mark our shoulders 615 apart. 5 mil for painting, remember. So we've squared our lines for our shoulders, now we need to use the marking knife. This is a marking knife, flat on one edge, beveled on the other. We need to use this with a flat square because of this flat side, so that we get tight into the line that we require to cut. Three scores will do it. This will stop the wood splintering, as you saw, your shoulder or housing joint. Same the other side, three scores. Set the pin on the marking gauge to the half thickness of the timber. Score it round for the cutting out of your half housing. Align your stud hook with the cut line and cut your housing joint to half depth. A second parallel saw cut will make chiselling the joint out much easier. Now we're ready to chisel out the joint. Tap your chisel into the edge of the timber first. This avoids any tear out or splitting out of the grain. Always put the flat of the chisel next to the wood you're going to keep and the bevel against the waste side. Cut out the rest of the joint like so. Nice little gentle taps. We've got two lines for two lots of taps. Slowly working your joint to the required depth. You can use several actions with a chisel. The one you're seeing. We can pair across, pair down, or use a rounding action like so. Glue the joints up, prepare to fix. You need a pilot hole in the end for 2 inch number 10 screws. Next we need a brace for the bottom to keep the legs parallel so that the frame doesn't drift out of square. Put a mark on your stay and drill and fix through with a temporary screw. Now we try our frame again for size to make sure it still fits. And that's why I haven't fixed the last timber. As a beginner, it's not a bad tip to leave that out until you've made your frame and then you can fix it through in the floor and the ceiling plate. So mark for the stud. Fix it. Mark the bottom of your stud. Put your frame aside. And get ready to fix. Here we'll use the same diagonal drilling technique as you saw before. Ensures that I'm going to be able to locate this timber exactly on the pencil line. And the hammering and nailing won't move the timber out of place. Second nail from the rear. Last check for the door frame, make sure we haven't pinched our stud work onto it and closed our gap and as you can see it's nice and snug. You'll need to screw down through the floor plate to the floorboards where the two crosses are to stop the floor plate moving out of line once you've cut out the middle. Now fix and nail the rest of your timber stud work together. Use the flat of the head if you haven't got enough room to swing the hammer. Mark for your noggings, cut them to length. With the stud hook guide you don't need to square a line as you can see.
just put the stud hawk on the mark and cut. Tap your blocks into place. And nail up again using four inch round wire nails. 